Okay, maybe some bonus round footage here. I don't know what we'll do with this, but um, we had a mishap with a knockoff battery here, and we just want to see if we can do something with it. Uh, maybe it's completely screwed, uh, but maybe we can fix it so that it's uh, it holds itself together and we can continue to use it. This is a 9 amp hour battery, approximate thereof. It has been holding up pretty well, so... Um, or charges and cycles and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so let's get it apart here. See what it looks like inside. Uh, we're on an insulated mat. And we're going to be careful. We don't have any metal parts around. Uh, this is a metal tool, but we're going to keep it away from the battery. Uh, standard disclaimers here. You know, be mindful of what you're doing. And if you're not comfortable, don't do it. Okay, so here's our batteries. We're going to leave that like that for now. And we're going to see if we can get this apart. It looks as though the screw broke off in that piece, and it also looks as though we're just going to twirl that in circles. Eh, maybe not. I think we got them to fall out. We'll see what we can do here. I'm going to fiddle around with this a little bit and uh, I think we'll be back. There we go, some more shattered pieces. Okay, so we got the screws out. So what I wonder is if we can do anything. Let's carefully place this battery on our insulated mat here so we don't have to worry about it. Keep all of our tools away from it. Now these studs have broken down at this lower level. But it does appear as though the tubes go up further. Uh, this is definitely busted and weak. So I'm going to see if I can find some longer screws and maybe we can do something with this. And we're back. So I thought what I'd talk about here quick is what I did was I trimmed off all the broken pieces that were hanging off of here and we still have enough that when this thing goes together these pieces here are captured in inner tubes that are inside the battery casement. So there's still enough there for it to overlap and have some structural integrity. The whole thing goes together well. Um, I trimmed this down with a flush cutter and I also filed it with a file until I no longer saw any crack in the plastic. And then I went a little bit further just to make sure we got out of the area where the cracking was. Um, I double checked and this is a number four screw. Um, so I'm going to have to order some screws. And we'll see if we can get this thing uh, put back together with some nice longer screws. So a little bit. We'll get some screws and we'll see if we can fix this. So before I went uh, ordering stuff... Uh, what we did was did a little digging around and um, yeah, having random boxes of stuff comes in handy. Found some nice long number four. Now these happen to be security tip, but that's okay. We have a security tip Torx T10 screwdriver to run them in. So let's see if we can't get this back together. So I thought I'd show quick, we got a good amount of thread engagement. This is actually started threading in. We're going to have this much thread going from about here up into this thing. So I'm hoping this will be a bit more strong than what we had originally and we won't have this thing break again. Uh, these casements for these knockoff batteries are a lot more uh, cheaper grade plastic than the uh, Milwaukee ones I think. Even though 
we had a legit Milwaukee one break as well, but uh, this other Milwaukee one was kind of an extreme case, I think. So uh, either way, we'll get this back together and double check how it worked out. All right, so we're all back together. Um, everything looks good. We got screws back together in there. The long screws uh, had a nice um, ability, you know, I was fortunate that the holes went all the way up in and I was able to get that long screw up in there and I'm hoping that'll give us some extra strength in this. So I think we worked out good there. We saved two batteries, one Milwaukee and one knockoff Milwaukee. Just a random thing that we had two, uh, two instances of stuff breaking in a... Uh, very short time period so I thought we'd do a video on looking at uh, two different and unique repairs on uh, Milwaukee batteries hope this was interesting thanks for watching and have a great day